we're back in here with a little bit of info on the CR125 and some port work we're about to do on this thing. I got lucky and snagged this thing off of eBay for only 50 bucks, guys. So I thought, wow, I'll take that. Um, as you can see, it's going to need replated. If you look closely in there, you can see where um, there's a crack right on the upper portion of the exhaust bridge and um, a mild one down below that. Um, we're going to get this replated and send it off to Power Seal USA. You can see I already have it traced out there. It's not much, guys. 28 millimeter is, uh, is what Eric Gore calls for on his, uh, in his book he has. And actually to the inner portion of the uh, exhaust roof there, that is 28 millimeters. So I took a piston ring, one of my old piston rings here, and I, I just traced it out. So um, now guys, I will say what I did on my last one is, is the power valve just barely stick down. Now uh, in his book, it says you can do, there's a lot of stuff you can do to these cylinders. This is allegedly uh, a decent cylinder uh, for doing some work too. And if you look closely down in there, it says about lowering the uh, outer portion of the exhaust five millimeter, which is pretty sketch guys. I will say it gets a little close to those transfer ports there. Uh, but we're going to just work our way at them a little bit. And uh, I guess I could be the guinea pig for you guys. It'll be some time for this gets on the bike itself. So we're not going to go crazy. I'm just going to barely bring up that exhaust. As it says, 28 millimeter, and we're going to widen the lower portion, and we're going to clean everything up, guys. Uh, the transfers, pretty clean in here. We're going to get rid of a lot of those imperfections there. I do have a new angle grinder coming in. should be in any day. I'm excited to get in there. So we're, we're going to do some uh, cleanup work there to the lowers and upper transfers there. Um, of course, I'll bring you guys all along doing this. And uh, we're going to polish this exhaust up. We're going to do a much better job than the last one. The last one, I just kind of got in there and uh, raised the exhaust roof and didn't really do any polishing at all. Just kind of cleaned some stuff up and left it alone. Um, I was kind of wanting to get the bike back together to run it. So, uh, you know, clean up that boost port. Maybe just do a little bit of work in there. Uh, Eric doesn't really say anything on this cylinder of doing that, but I'm definitely going to get in there and clean it up. It looks pretty, looks pretty good. All right, guys, so we're going to attack the uh, lower transfers here a little bit. Um, what's uh, funny is there was an edge on my last cylinder right here the whole way across. Trying my best, guys, to have the camera kind of in my way here. But we're going to attack the, uh, the uh, transfers here a little bit first and uh, start doing some cleanup work. Like I say, I'm just going in here and just barely gonna start uh, attacking these imperfections. You don't have to do a lot to these guys. Uh, on the last cylinder, I did lower these a little bit here. Um, I know they're big on epoxy work on these, uh, especially if you're looking for the low to mid range. Um, so, uh, we're going to leave that alone on this one. I did lower this just a hair and blended that in. There was an, uh, an edge right here on the last owner. If I find some clips, uh, from my later, uh, last video, um, I'll throw it in here, but yep. We're just cleaning it up. Not going to, not going crazy guys. We want to have this contour here. Um, I'm, I'm really, um, probably going to get my mandrel on here and do more than anything guys uh, with that but uh, like this here we're going to blend that out a little bit this here will blend a little bit and I don't like this li this little just like a casting defect guys so if that coming into your lower half of your case here that's going to pro probably block a little bit of uh, your air fuel coming up through these transfers so we're going to hit it that a little bit 
and kind of level it out to that contour right there. A little tricky getting in there. May even be better kind of coming at it like this too. Yep, that's working a lot better, guys. So you see that I cleaned that up already that fast. And if you look at this side, kind of have that. And then I'm gonna blend that in. I'm gonna blend this in right here a little better. If you guys can see that there, see a little hump. So yeah, I think that will help us out a little bit if we just kind of take that all the way across like so, like this side here. A lot of guys don't like to blade. Some guys like to blade these and some people don't. Um, any expert porters, feel free. Feel free to drop a comment, guys. Just kind of uh, going off of what I did with the last one. And man, I tell you, the last one was a good turnout, guys, for some awesome top end power. Now we'll clean that little edge I made back. Uh, we'll clean that up for sure. I'm going to come back on this side here a little bit. Hopefully you guys can see what I'm doing. If anybody was interested in this uh, grinder, I will drop a link. Uh, I've been pretty, pr pretty happy with it so far. already looking pretty good getting that out of there I did forget to grab my flashlight guys I might have to cut out here and go get that um, yeah so uh, I, I definitely want more aggressive with opening all this up uh, the last time um, but uh, the 2000 apparently you need to open these up because uh, there's a bad blend um, from the lower cases to these upper or lower transfers. Um, now, if you're looking for mid, more mid range, uh, it's recommended in the Eric's book to epoxy the cases to meet the 2000 cylinder. And uh, that, that cuts this volume down in here. So a lot of them, when you want mid, low to mid range, they're, they're putting epoxy right in here, guys. They're putting uh, epoxy here, epoxy here and epoxy here um, and here and what that's doing is uh, cranking a cranking up the uh, the volume in there and it, it's supposed to get better throttle response and better uh, low to mid range uh, power um, and again uh, when a 2001 you would look at getting the uh, RM 125 piston uh, which lowers, uh, retards the uh, port timing numbers on this. Um, you could also, uh, if you knew a machinist, I think cut this base, right? You could cut this base and, and drop it a little bit. Um, but again, I would go with uh, go with what Eric says to do because the man, the myth, the legend has been doing it for some time. So you would think he's been through a lot of trial and error guys so uh i'm going i'm going with uh sticking by his side on uh what all his stuff says in his book and it's awesome he's put put that information out there i don't know how long he's had that book out but that's very cool so right here is a little bit of an impression i don't want to i don't want to open them up too crazy guys but i am like i say i'm like right in here if you guys can see that is a bunch of uh, casting imperfections here to get that out of there too. I'm kind of jumping around all over the place here a little bit, guys. I know. Just gonna do my rough cut with this, and then basically I'm gonna come in uh, behind this with my mandrel 
and go to, go to work, guys. Just gonna slightly open these up just a little bit. I'm looking for top end power again, like I did on my last port job. Not going too crazy, look at that. Um, another thing I did, I did say that I did lower this here on the last one and I don't really think we're gonna do much with that this time around. Um, if you always look closer, like here, here's a straight edge. There's always gonna be little imperfections that you can kind of clean up. Like right here's a little bump, like a little belly. Look at this straight edge and then if you come over here, this even has a little belly and it transfers. So guys, when they're making these cylinders, you're always gonna find imperfections. You don't wanna go changing too much. And barely crack at this stuff here, guys. So it's less work on my sandpaper, on my mandrel. Then I just deburn it, for lack of a better term. I can still, that belly's popping out to me right here just a little bit. Kind of, probably try, kind of hard to see on camera, I'm sure. Stuff like that, like that right there, had a little blunt edge. We kind of just opened that up a little bit. You can't help that some of that stuff um, when these castings are made, not unless they would have like an extreme uh, quality control and somebody going back over these things, which they might do. I'm not 100%, but uh, any of it, we're grinding, guys. I'm not taking much here, guys. I'm just kind of letting a bit do the work. I should put this dag on camera in my way. <laughs> All right. All right, now what I'm gonna do just skim these open just a little bit. I did this on the last one too. The 2001 is supposed to have pretty good uh, case to lower transfer matching. But I'm just gonna barely open it up so the volume coming up ain't, if this were to stick out just a little bit, but I may go back at that again if once the cylinder goes on and uh, by laying a gasket down and uh, seeing where we end up. And that's what I did with my last one. Actually, that is what I did with my last one. And as we open that up, we're gonna get this bump here again. And then all you gotta do is come on over and Really surprised how good these uh, these transfers are looking. Looking pretty damn on, pretty damn good if you ask me. Um, the trick's gonna be doing this exhaust. Um, I may have to get my longer bits out and get in there and do that. Um, these short bits can be a bit tricky. As you can see, I've been saving that for you guys. <laughs> um, without a doubt, it'll be it's gonna be a little tricky with these small bits. So we're definitely gonna have to jump over. 
to those. Badass guys, uh, these trucked up. I did not think they would. So that's sweet. Get me some reach in there for sure. Um, try to do some exhaust, uh, exhaust work on this thing. Yeah, this, this fits cooperating a lot better. So guys, I'm just barely gonna take, this is what I did with my last one. I'm just barely taking some off the exhaust roof. 100% don't wanna go crazy here. And then in there, let this thing stop spinning. Right here is where we're gonna wanna lower the outer portion uh, of the exhaust. Hoping you guys can see that somewhat. Trying to get you guys to see it and not mess it up is the trick. Just keep in mind that half of this exhaust is already at 28 mil. Okay, so from here to here is where we want to blend it. Let's get a look up top here, guys. Looking pretty good. No uh, catastrophic uh, accidents yet. tricky part is going to be lowering that outer this uh i'm hoping you guys can see this the tricky part is going to be lowering this right here i might have to get my ball bit on here we'll see guys this is a lot more nerve-wracking than uh doing a chainsaw cylinder top here and look um, let's see um I think I'm getting about there we're gonna get jump over to the other side guys I'll take some measurements here here in a little bit and uh, we'll see where we're at Really tricky to get in here, guys. 100%. So I'm kind of using the angle and the tip of the bit on this thing. That way I uh, can get to it. Because straight, going straight in there, I'm hitting a uh, uh, exhaust valve uh, indentation. Got a little bit of chatter. There we go. You guys might not be able to see that, but I'm working on the the lowering of the uh, that side. Not too bad. Crack at it a little more. I got a good portion of that kind of shaved in there. I want to say you just got to bump that down. I'm going to bump that in and out a little bit. There's the side I've started to do. 
Or wait a minute, no, this side. All right, let's tack this side a little bit here. Oops, we're going at the wrong end here. How much angle can I get? The other side's a way better angle to get to. Start blending this in a little bit. Oh. So what's different is guys, is you got the cavity and you don't have a, a roof to lay your bit against. So this is where the, it, it's, it's just tricky because that's all open cavity in there for the exhaust valve. So that makes it a little bit tricky guys. Um, I almost forgot that that was open like that and I wanted to lay my bit down. I thought, whoa, wait a minute. <laughs> about got that done for the rough end work all right guys i'm kind of looking through the exhaust now i know you probably can't see it but it gives me a, a lot better view of the contour yeah it's not not turning out too bad guys i'm not sure how well you can see it in there so we're gonna lower in that outer ridge and lower in that outer ridge it's not much guys five millimeter Almost seems like too much uh, as close as you're getting to that transfer. Keep that in mind. I like coming through here. You kind of see what you're doing a little better. See what. Now these bits are a little tattery. I need to get a new set. They're dull. You should be you should run a new set of bits when you're doing this guys. So I'm just kind of trying not to get too carried away with uh, letting it shatter too much. Do some more sneak attack here on the lower portion. Very tricky to get to. Very tricky. So, uh, highly recommend having the long bits or you're probably not gonna pull this job off. Not looking too bad in there, guys. Definitely not looking too bad. So now I'm gonna work my way in again. Gives me, or keeps me in uniform, or I don't know how to say that. Even more in uniform of what I'm doing on each side. And it makes me feel like it anyway. Like I'm not forgetting something. Guys, I'm rather impressed how this is turning out. I already got my mandrel on here. I'm going to start messing around with guys upper portion of this exhaust should really start making everything look pretty pretty pretty
I can get in there pretty far, so that's good. There's a look, guys. Cleaning her up pretty good here. All right. All right, guys, we're gonna attack the floor a little bit here. I'm trying to angle it the best I can and work the split pedal and not hit the tripod. And <laughs> it's, a, it's a task, guys, it's a task, but we gotta bring y'all along, right? My people. gonna do dust this on camera but look what i did at the bottom of that i didn't wipe it either i didn't wipe anything out of that at all take you guys off the tripod here that was just that quick hit on the mandrel there get in there guys we are getting there no polish work at all yet i mean hit with the sandpaper Got to have one of those mandrels, guys. And let me tell you, that that really uh, that'll really clean stuff up good. All right, all right, guys. We're about done for the day. Keep in mind, I'm still right, waiting on my uh, right angle, 90 degree grinder to come in. Uh, it's gonna help me with the get into the lower transfers, clean those up a little bit. But uh, doing pretty good here so far. With this old girl definitely got some more work to do. There's the transfers I didn't touch hardly yet at all, um, other than blending in that there. But uh, exhaust, it's got some more polish work to do, but looking really well. All right, guys, we're back, and uh, we have our handy dandy grinder here now, a little 90 degree. Pretty nice, pretty nice for the price. Um, now I did some of this off camera because I kind of had to hold the flashlight and use this and to tape a lot of it was uh, very challenging. Um, let me see if I can't get a pointer here. So I did lower the outer portion of the exhaust here. You can see right here, um, the old line come up about right through here and around, about right through here and around. So. That's a little bit we, we took out there to lower the outer ridge of the exhaust. Uh, definitely getting uh, close here, guys. So right at there, the top of that is about your uh, 28 mil. If I come around, just got a little bit more to go here. Um, looking pretty good from there. That one is just about done. Um, I think this side I'm going to have to hit a little more. Um, but if you look, right there is your 28. And you come on around, you'll see how that does uh, shorten up ever so. I'm trying to get you guys in there. Really can't get the angle I want uh, to show you guys. But I still need to take a little bit more off just this side of the exhaust roof a little bit. And... Uh, We'll be about done with the exhaust then. Yeah, 100% will say that this one's uh, I've been fighting. It's uh, definitely been a little bit uh, more chattery. Um, here we go.
just a little bit at a time being extremely careful here as i uh take material off all right guys let's have another look here i got my caliber micrometer locked in here and i did check it off the camera just showing you guys so pretty much 28 all the way around and then i kind of taper down of course you have to right unless you would have the whole exhaust um yeah, uh roof of the exhaust up at 28 that's the way i'm gonna do it um it's gonna kind of keep that stock contour um if not you would come all the way out and it would uh it would cut up and in but uh this is how i did the last cylinder kind of just blended it took just a little bit off but as you can see my 28 mil comes all the way around and then about from right here um, i start to taper into my circle that's how i'm going to do it kind of gives the uh, stock contour uh, to the exhaust so um, i'm going to get my long bit back on here swap my uh, grinder back over to my straight one and uh, we're going to get in here just a little bit more and clean this up here a little bit all right guys we are getting to where we're finishing this up on the polish work on the exhaust and believe it or not guys on my split mandrel here this is just a paper towel and uh that's how i like to do it yeah literally just uh paper towel right on the mandrel the split mandrel here It's a little trick I do for polishing. I will be going over this again once it gets back from plating. I mean, um, Power Steel USA goes above and beyond, if you ask me. Uh, I've only had one cylinder plated from there, but the work that they did and the cleanup on that cylinder when they shipped it back, it was awesome. I, yeah, they did great work on the last cylinder I sent out to them. So, yeah, so I will... Uh, probably polish this exhaust up one more time when I get it back guys but, uh. all right guys we got her finished up cleaned up here's a look at the exhaust got her polished up if you guys can see that very well um yep there went my light I got another light here Here's my transfers. Um, and in here is the, where we lowered the exhaust in the outer ridge. There and uh, right here. Just lowered that down a little bit. We raised the exhaust roof from about here over is about 28 mil. We kind of blended this in here and just slightly raised the exhaust roof. Um, not much you want to do to the transfers, but clean up the imperfections. So we got in there. Um, I got in the boost port a little bit here. I got in the lower transfers a little bit, uh, cleaned them all up. Um, I did slightly, slightly go up on the wall, uh, on the angle back towards the intake a little bit on both of them and matched them on both sides. Uh, but uh, didn't take much material guys just a little little bit but uh, that's about how I ported the last one uh, I did do this I did make some changes on this for sure uh, but I'm excited to send this off we'll send the cylinder off to power seal USA get it replated and uh, we're gonna get on the bike because uh, cylinder we have on there now is um is a sleeve cylinder so don't like that so much we're going for more performance so this uh this plated cylinder is probably going to put out a little bit more power 
uh, in comparison to the sleep cylinder. But uh, all right, guys, I hope you enjoyed the content. Uh, that was just a little video on how to port the 2001 CR 125. Um, these were all uh, port tips or out of Eric Gore's book. Um, I got it later. Actually, the info I got was right off his website. So check out his website. Um, but yeah, basically, you're just uh, raising the exhaust roof a little bit, uh, lowering the exhaust floor on the outer ridge. Um, we uh, cleaned up the transfers, opened them up just a little bit. And that's basically it, guys. I got in there and cleaned some stuff up. And uh, that's it. Um, we're going to get it plated, like I said, and get it sent out. And uh, probably be on the shelf for some time. I have to get a piston before I send it out. We're going to keep it stock for. I really was contemplating 134, uh, but I, I decided we're just going to keep it uh, stock for. Um, but yeah, guys, if you haven't already, Give me a subscribe, hit that like button, turn on the bell notifications, and look for more videos to come. Thanks for watching, guys. Appreciate you all. We'll catch you next time.